hello guys so welcome to trading home and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to model concrete fissure okay using agicat all right i'll be showing you one simple method okay one of the simplest method on how to do that and with this same method you can model different type of concrete fissures okay different designs different moldings all right so let's dive into the video without wasting much of your time so make sure you come to this option this is our first step click on option then go to complex profile we're using complex profile to model this okay so go to complex profile from here now see what this arrow is pointing click on this profile manager right so once you click on profile manager you see this dashboard and then from here now we have only two things here we have the edit which is we have this edit and also we have new where this plus sign is so you click on the new this will allow you type in the name of that feature the name of the feature so you don't forget when you go to select right so let's name this feature three okay feature three okay so we click on okay so this now will give you a space this space now this is where you model that design that you want okay so here in this space now there's two tools we'll be using for this okay the first one is the line tool so come on that document select line two right and then let's quickly draw that shape that you want let's go with 100 okay just feel free to do any design you want it will still come out okay but create something amazing this space now is an open space where you can you know you can create that design you have in mind okay so let me just do something real quick something that will not take much of our time okay something that will not take much of our time and um let's say from here make it 50 okay okay Ah, it's coming out. This, these are more there. Let's just, let's just, let's stop here. Let me not take much of your time. Okay. So this is the first two, which is the line two. Okay. And then the second two is the fill two, which is this. So click on fill two. Make sure you hold down your space bar button. Okay. You can see this is showing plus sign, but once you click on space bar button, the sign will change. So let's do that in two, three, one. Okay. You can see the sign now is this sign has changed so once you click inside this box everything i will select okay but well, make sure all the faces all the lines are joined that's the only time you can get this face covered okay so click on this one now let's change the, the material let's go with white you know white used to come out very well when we we're modeling you know that you're building with white fascia white used to come out well so from here now okay there's another important thing you need to do if you when when modeling okay you may get at some point where you would like to maybe stretch the fascia. You don't want to draw again. Maybe you forgot to drag it to that level and you want to stretch it. You can only do that with the permission of this thing we're about to do now. You see this modifier under this modifier, okay? Under this uh, modifier, width stretch and height stretch. It, it will only work when you tick these two points, okay? So make sure you tick them, all right? Make sure you tick them. Once you're done with these ones, then click on beam. You see this beam? Click on beam. And then deselect this wall. Make sure this point is only the beam that is highlighted. Then click save. Okay. Once you click on save, you can now close. Or make sure you remember the name Fisher 3. Okay. So close now. Now, since we've used this wall to you know model this fissure, let's use this second one to model, you know, to cover the new to install the new fissure, right? So from here now, click on beam under design, click on beam. Remember we save it as beam under beam click on beam and then come to this point click on the setting dialog if you're using agica 2020 you see this point this eye section and the rest once you click on this on this setting dialogs once you click on setting dialogs okay you will see these things here they will show but if you're using agica 2025 all right maybe from 2021 above you will not see them here at your first click so make sure you click on segment before you can see them so select eye section that will give you permission now to select fascia now um, to select custom okay on that custom let me show you how it will look like once you click on eye section this is how it will look like you show custom so make sure you click on this point and then from here now you select that fascia remember the name was the name we saved there was fascia 3 so you click on fascia 3 then you click ok so now let's model it here you either model it on 3d or you model it on plan okay but for this one let's use 3d okay 
so you click and then from here take you back to this point right and um and click so let's check out our design so this is the fissure right this is our fissure right so thank you once again for your time okay and please if you find this video helpful please do well to subscribe okay hit the like button share and if you have any question please do well to ask in the comment section okay i'll do well to attend to you thank you once again for your time